Hi everyone, it's Sally here. Um, <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Sally here. Um, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back to, <laughs> to this crazy, crazy time. Okay, so um, I'm just going to jump straight in because I've got a lot, um, a lot to get through and I just want to get these uploaded because I've had a bit of a gap, haven't I? Um, as with all the other Timu videos that you see, there is a code and uh, I'm not going to go into all that because you've probably seen it a thousand times, but everything is linked in the description. If you feel like it and you want to buy me a coffee, um, that would be great. Um, all I would ask is that you subscribe because that helps the channel ever such a lot. And uh, maybe like and hit the notification bell so you know when the next ones are uploaded. Um, so without further ado, let's get stuck in. Right, sorry about the crunchiness. The first thing I've got, it's a bag within a bag again. Hang on, let's have a look. Right, so this is, this is, oh, <laughs> fingers and thumbs. This is just little caps to go on like so, um, sauce bottles, you know, like ketchup and that. Um, and it's got a little stopper on the end. And what I usually use these for is my paints. Um, yeah, they don't seem to want to stay on that very well, to be honest. Normally they just, but anyway, that's what they are. And hopefully they'll fit my bottle. So they look a bit small, but we'll see anyway. I'm going to put that back in there. I think you get 10 of those in there. And I need somewhere to put all this lot. Hang on. Right, so I've got my list of things because I can't video on the phone and uh, check out the prices so um, I could have put labels on everything sticky labels but I wrote it down anyway so those 10 lids were 90p um, right so the next thing is this right so I've got some new glasses and uh, and I've actually bought myself some uh, what do they call them sunglasses <laughs> Of course, I have to buy sunglasses and it's coming into the winter. <laughs> but because I've got problems with my eyes. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, right. OK, because I've got problems with my eyes. I had to get them sorted out first. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Bear with me a second. OK. Oh, OK. So I've got two. I've got two chains. Can you see that one? I know you can't see it very well, can you? One's black and one's like um, metal, like pewter. And there are supposed to be two of these. Can you see those? So, But I've only seemed to have... Oh no, it's in there. So I've got a clear one and a black one. And uh, yeah, sorry, I was getting sidetracked. So you put them on your glasses with these. So you put a hook on there and then hook on, on the actual glasses, um, sorry, <sighs> on these chains, oh I've gone and tied them in a knot now, um, but you can see there's like a, a, claw, cl a claw clip there and um, I'm going to have to put them back in here so I don't lose them and I'll sort them out a, a bit later, but um, yeah so I've got a, a pair of black ones and a pair of clear ones, excuse me, and they're just attached to your glasses. What I was saying is I've bought myself some sunglasses. So, and they're prescription sunglasses. So if I go into a shop, I'm going to have to put them around my neck and put my glasses back on because I won't be able to see anything. <laughs> Only me. Um, so yeah, that's why I bought them. Right, the next thing I've got, oh, they were, sorry. They were £1.19 and you get two of those. Right, this is... This is little pots. I'll just show you one of them. I think I've got a hundred of these. Yeah, a hundred. And these were one pound and seven. Um, little plastic um, tubs with a little um, pouring spout there. And I don't think they've got measurements on anything. A little bit like an old ke an old like a McDonald's ketchup thing. And what you do is you use those when you're doing resin 
um, or acrylic paint pouring and things like that. So I'm going to be doing that and I'll put that up on the channel when I've done it. Um, I'll show you how I do it so you can have a go yourselves if you feel like it. So they were one pound, one pound and seven pence and you get a hundred of those. Right, this is sublimation paper and it's the size of a, a mug and you wrap it around the mug and uh, print on it and then you can put your own decorations on plain mugs again this is uh, something that i show you when i get upstairs into the craft room and this was three pound 81 and there is a hundred sheets on there so if you can see that on there that's the sort of thing or you can have like your picture of your dog or your cat or your baby or your grandparents or you know getting married all those sort of things can go on there so we're going to be playing around with that when I um, when I've cleared all this. I'm going to start doing some in the craft room, and then I'll show you how it's all done. Okay, so that was three pound eighty one. Then I've got a little stocking filler for Christmas for the kids. Well, let's see if I can get into this as well. I'll just tear it. I've no idea how this works. Um, I've just broken one <laughs> to smithereens and it's fallen in the bag so I'm just going to have to figure that out and then let you know at a later date when I've, I'll put it over there so I can have a look at it before you finished. and that was let's have a look at that that was they're just they're supposed to go on your finger and it's supposed to be Christmassy and you're supposed to point it and it's supposed to have lights on it. I'll, I'll read what it says. It says uh, 10 pieces of finger lights, cartoon projection lights with various patterns and colours, Christmas gifts. So I don't know what I did wrong, but obviously I did something. But hey ho, that was £2.39 and we'll get that sorted off camera <laughs> right there's no point in me taking this out this is £2.69 and it's just um a calendar for my wall so I can put things so I can just put it up obviously January 25 when the time comes I can just put it up on the wall so I know what I'm doing when um and that was £2.69 that takes me back to my corporate days when I need to be organized <laughs> right so the next thing I've got is these books, okay, so these were £1.72, and this is just to go on the bookshelf. So they're false books, I don't know how they work. Um, oh right, so you just... I think you just hang on squish them squish them hang on a minute i think you just squish them right yeah, there you go so you just squish them like that <laughs> yeah just a bit of squishing and you fold them over like that it's the easiest ones i've seen actually she says and she can't it's hard to do it when you've got both ends to do bear with me a second Okay, so you push that end in there, and then you do the same <laughs> send. Yeah, you can see that, can't you? Come on, get in. What's wrong with you? Oh, right, it's not going in the right place. Bear with me a second. There we go. So it's so that's what it looks like. And it's just uh, one of those false books. So it just says home on it. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I've got one that says home, one that says love, and one that says at. Love at home. And that says, well, they all say love at home. So that's what they are. So I shall be putting them together and putting them on my bookcase. That was £1.72. This is a 12-in-1 trimmer. Okay, that's what it looks like. Yeah, 
So you've got a round disc at the top and it's got different cutting edges. It's quite, quite sturdy. And then you just rotate this disc. Oh, and then you come down like that. So let's do it, shall we? And then just bear with me a second. Right, so, and then what you do is you pull that one down and then you, you can see it there. So from top to bottom, you go like that. I think that's it. Is that it? Oh, I think that's it. Oh, yeah. Right, so it's not the the best. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so that's that one. Right, we'll try this one, shall we? We'll look at this one. It's not the easiest to get in. Um, yeah, I think you get what you pay for, the same as usual. You know what I mean, don't you? Right, okay, that was a bit easier. But it's still not cut it now. Right, you see, it's not cut it brilliantly. But you can see that's the effect. When I, when we go up to the craft room, we'll, uh, we'll have a go with that. So that was, how much was that? That was £7.21. Right, again for the craft room. And I just thought I'd test it for you so that we've got an idea on what it feels like in the resin. I don't know if you can see there. It's not very good, is it? Again, I'll have to show you when we go up in the craft room. I think that's going to be the best thing. And that was £3.99. Yeah, just shop around when you're doing stuff like that. I, can, I use things like that to the things that I definitely know I'm going to use for basket fillers, you know, when you've got to meet your, your minimum order. And this is another one I've done as well. Oh, well, okay. So these are flowers to go in resin. Now, these are plastic, which I didn't really appreciate. So again, make sure you um, read. I mean, they're pretty, don't get me wrong, but make sure you read the instructions because, um, yeah, so you get a bag full. I'm going to just have to put them in this bag so I don't get them all over the place. 319. So they are artificial. Um, I would normally buy silica and dry them myself. Um, but again, it must have been a, um, a basket filler. Right, the next thing I've got is, again, £3.79 for this. Um, and it's a, it's a star mould. Now, again, I'm going to have to test this out because this does not feel, this feels really, really flimsy. Um, but I haven't done any... And it's going to be quite difficult to get into the star points. So you're going to have to make sure you use some um, like um, a toothpick and stuff or like a plastic toothpick sort of thing and make sure you do that. But uh, that's a that's going to be a Christmas ornament. So and I've got some beautiful metallic paints, um, metallic mic powder, and that was uh, three seventy nine. Here is a juicer. It's just like a small mini juicer. Okay, I don't know what to expect with this. There's a lid. Okay, oh, okay. That's the that's the juicer. Um, and then you get one of these. Oh, you get a USB charger. And I found the bag to put these in. <laughs> Because they're all exactly the same. Oh, that looks a bit bigger. But yeah, that's a, a charger. You get another one of these cups. And you get some instructions. So that must go on there. Yeah, that's like that. I wonder if it works. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's got a light. Yeah, it does. Oof, makes your hands vibrate. <laughs> It feels powerful. Anyway, so, right. <laughs> we'll have to have a go with this tomorrow. Um, right, I'll pop that back in there for now. Pop that back in there. And, uh, oh, quite looking forward to trying that tomorrow. Uh, oh, that was free. <laughs> I've got two things that were free. And, um, well, that's all right, isn't it? I'm happy about that. I'm, I'm going to put that down at the side because I'm going to give that a go tomorrow. 
Right, the next thing I've got, not that, the next thing I've got is, again, <laughs> uh, Sally has bought something for summer in the middle of winter. Well, just as we're coming into winter. winter. But that's fine. It doesn't matter because summer's going to come round again next time. Okay, so what we've got. You never know, you might use it on holiday. Okay, so this is a neck fan. And again, you've got another of these chargers. So let's see. Well, it looks quite nice, actually. Um, it's got a bit of weight to it, but it's uh, it does look quite nice. Um, yeah, that's that side. And then that's that side. So let's see if this has got some juice as well. Yeah, it has. I can feel it. So that's one. Oh, it's got a light as well. <laughs> So you could be reading. Oh, it's green as well. Oh my goodness me. Uh, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's a bit unusual. That's level two. Level three. Level four. Five. So it goes up to five. Let's have a look. Yep, I can feel it. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I like that. Right, so, I don't know about you, but when I'm in somewhere in a hot climate and things like that, or if I'm going to pass out, because I pass out a lot with having low blood pressure, I always have cold hands or I put my hands under the cold tap and I'm always like this, putting them, you know, putting my cold hands on my face. So having something like this, I think will really help. Um, that's great. That's absolutely brilliant. I love that. Okay, so the next thing is I have got something. F right, I'm not going to take this out of the. I might. Yeah, I am. Take it out of the first bit anyway. So the neck fan was free as well. That's a free gift. Okay, so this is um, a bubble gun. You get some instructions and you get um, a little tray. You put your bubble gun on there and then you off you go, which I'm assuming it needs batteries. I think it does. It's definitely not got any in. Oh, that don't sound good, does it? So I'm going to have to test this tomorrow. And then this, uh, so the bubble gun, uh, the bubble gun was £3.64. Okay, now this is a. Oh. Yeah. So, and this, this is 378 and this is a bubble. It says bubble gun, but it's a bubble machine. I got it for the kids for Christmas. Oh, my kidding. <laughs> I did, honestly. Right, so this is the bubble machine. It's a lot smaller than I thought. The ones in early learning centre are massive, but we'll see. So let's see what we've got. Right, so we've got some instructions. We've got a little tiny bubble machine. Again, it sounds funny. Um, it's on, so obviously it needs some batteries. Yep, so I can't test that as of yet, but I will do that tomorrow. And I'll do a little video when I test it so that you can see how that turns out. And this is the next one. And this is a battery car charger. Now, I've got an electric car, but it's still got a 12 volt battery. And if I'm car camping and the battery goes, um, the 12 volt, should I say, then I can just plug it in. That's plug it in to charge it and then I can just boost boost it like you would a normal charging battery. Um, and it's quite chunky actually. Um, yeah, 12 volt intelligent pulse repair charger. It's got that. It's mainly to go in the boot of the car just for emergencies. Um, obviously, I can't get it back in the bag. So we'll just pop that down there as well and I'll sort that out tomorrow everything tomorrow 
Right, that battery charger was £12.68. Yeah, so I'm not sure what to make of this. This is going to have to go on the bed and then I'm going to have to let you know. It's not brushed cotton, um, but it does feel like cotton. Um, I'm not putting this on the bed, I've just changed my bed. I will do a review of all the products that I've bought. Um, I've been doing YouTube now for six, just over six months, maybe seven or eight months, I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a review um, of the one of the stuff that I got in the beginning so that I can tell you, I'll let you know how it's performing. So if I've got something that's broken, if I've thrown it out because it were useless, you know, things like that, or if it's still going strong, then I'll let you know. That fitted bed sheet was £5.98 and that's a single. Uh, these pumpkins, I absolutely love these. These are decals uh, and it's a pumpkin with a fairy on it. And I got four of these and they were 84 pence each. I absolutely love them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's four of them. So they can go in the bag and go upstairs. Just bear with me a second. Okay, right. Then the next thing I've got is... Oh, this is... This is a necklace, okay. A necklace and a bracelet, and it's 925 silver. Let's have a look at this. Oh, this is nice, okay. Okay. So this is the necklace. Have a look at the length on this. And it's this, it's in the snake. That's really nice, and that's got a nice feel to it as well. It's got a nice weight, and it's not kinking. If you know what I mean, it's got a nice hang to it, I think. Yeah, I can't feel any kinks in it anyway. And it's a nice length. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. If I get it on, I won't be able to get it off. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. And then it's got a matching bracelet. But that's so it's exactly the same. Um, it's the same fixings. And it's the same um, quality. Lovely. It feels lovely. No kinks in it at all. Um, I think it's the same thickness. Yeah, it's the same thickness as well. Uh, no, it's actually a little bit thicker. Uh, yeah, it's a bit thicker actually. But it's the same style. That's lovely. So that can go up in my jewellery box. And that was, for the set, £2.39. So uh, I'm going to put this back up there because I want to get a pendant to go with it to match okay so let's put that back and then these are a pair of jogging shoes jogging trainers oops didn't talk about that okay okay well they they're a bit battered they they are very cheap but um yeah, let's have a look at them. They're soft inside. Um, I'd say a thin layer of memory foam. There's not much support. It's very, very thin, um, lightweight. But uh, yeah, they're quite good, actually. They were just £4.79. That looks like it. Yep, so I shall um, finish it there. And uh, thanks very much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the haul um I, what i want to say as well is just be careful of these two free gifts because what i've noticed is when they say two free gifts um and then they say pick the rest of your stuff from this page that they put up things seem to be a lot more expensive than um than they usually are and i've noticed that quite a bit just recently on uh timo that prices are going up and I don't mind paying a certain amount, but I won't pay silly prices. And, um, you know, a couple of things I've found that um, are not much different from Amazon. So uh, just be careful. Make sure. Oh, the other thing I've noticed as well. They're doing things in uh, pieces. So you'll see like a pack of 10 something. Like, like, for example, a pack of bowls like this. But then where it's saying the, the uh, price, it'll say 
£1.49 and then in little letters it'll say PC which is peace obviously um, so you if you buy a pack of four then you pay four times £1.50 so just keep an eye out for that as well um, they're getting a bit canny yeah I'm, I'm not impressed with that but uh, I just thought I'd bring your awareness to it so that you can look out for it in the future but um, yeah, so I think I've got a bit of work to do tomorrow, get some batteries, get the bubble machines going and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see when the next ones are uploaded. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Bye for now.